Okay, here we are in the engine compartment of our uh, Express Cruiser Tiki Hut. It's a, a 5.7 300 horse Merc Cruiser. There's been some discussion on the internet about carbon monoxide. And um, so I'm replacing my carbon monoxide detector in the boat with one that has a monitor on it. And uh, this should help us detect actual levels if they are, um, if there is leakage or carbon monoxide in the boat. Of course, it's an odorless gas and it's super deadly, so we want to make sure it's not leaching into the boat. The problem we have is that I think the bulkhead is not sealed in the engine compartment. So anything, if we had a manifold leak or any kind of problem, it could actually leak right through the bulkhead. And if you look in that back corner, I can see daylight in that back corner right through the bulkhead here. This firewall is not sealed properly. And um, you can see they spritz a little bit of foam here and there, but not enough to stop any kind of gas leak. So we're going to take some of this sealant and uh, we're going to block up this uh, firewall to make sure it's sealed as good as possible anyhow. And then we're going to replace the interior little $9 or a monoxide detector with a $70 version with a monitor on it. So we're hoping to keep the crew safe. That's what we want to do is have a good day. Hope you do too. Okay, what seemed like a good idea to uh, patch up that little area right there that I thought was leaching anything that might be in the bilge, like gas fumes or carbon monoxide leak. Eh, it looks like kind of a moot point because as you can see, there's a couple other gaping freaking holes that I'm just no way going to be able to stop. So the construction of the boat, it's a production boat, they just slap them together and uh, it looked nice like they tried here. Why would they even bother? So then I look to the other side and it gets even better because over here they fit the They fit the, the deck to the hull, and crap, I could climb through that one. So unless I go and buy a case of foam, it's a, it's a waste of time. So I can just assume that any fuel leak, gas fumes, carbon monoxide is going to travel through this boat, and there's just no way to stop it. So I guess, I don't know. I don't know how to fix this.